One of the most visible features of iOS 16 is this multi-layered photo effect on the lock screen. Today's video is all about how to shoot your own lock screen wallpaper to make use of this effect. If you've been trying it out for yourself, you might find the effect works only with a rather specific set of photos. That's because for it to work, there's actually a pretty small window where the edge of your subject has to sit within. And that window is between the bottom edge of the time display and somewhere around half the height of the text. This window is where the upper edge of your subject needs to be. In terms of actually composing your photo to meet this criteria, it's actually a fair bit of a challenge. But this design makes total sense as well, because unless your subject is far up enough to intersect the time display, there's no way to tell it's being layered in the foreground. But intersect too far up, and it'll actually block you from reading the time. And the software is aware of that, so it would just pop your whole photo into the background, hence forfeiting the multi-layered effect. So, if you're trying to capture a cool multi-layered lock screen photo, I would recommend first turning on the grid overlay for your camera app and, of course, shooting your photo vertically. Now, imagine between this upper line here on the grid and the top edge of your frame, there is another line running smack in the middle. This line is where you want to align the edge of your subject. That's because once this gets cropped into a wallpaper, that's gonna align pretty much exactly with the midpoint of the text. So when we go ahead and use that shot as our lock screen, it should get that multi-layered effect. Now, of course, you do have the option to crop and adjust your framing, so I would actually recommend as a pro tip to frame the shot up slightly wider for a bit more leeway when cropping in and moving things around in the customization page. I would also recommend leaving plenty of room on the left and right sides of the frame, so keep everything towards the center as much as possible because the wallpaper aspect ratio is actually very narrow. That means a lot of content is gonna get cropped out on the sides. Also, the subject detection and subsequent cropping is done completely completely automatically, which means your mileage may vary in terms of success rate. But I would say the more distinct your subject is from the background, the more likely iOS 16 is gonna successfully turn it into a layered lock screen. You do not have to shoot in portrait mode. In fact, it works even on photos shot using other cameras. I would imagine this feature was developed primarily with human portraits and pet photos in mind, but I've managed to actually get it to work with a bunch of other subjects, like this bit of shortbread, if you're that kind of person who enjoys shortbread so much to the extent of giving it a spot on your lock screen. I don't judge. One last thing to note is the multi-layered effect cannot coexist with widgets because, well, the point of having widgets on your lock screen is to have them visible. So if you've got any widgets at all on your lock screen, your subject will never come to the foreground and block your widgets. So it's your call to make between having function-oriented widgets or the aesthetics of a layered lock screen. If you found this video helpful, please share it with people who too might find this helpful. Until then, I'll see you in another one of my videos.